Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech and iOS 26 public beta released and is finally here for public beta testers. But for the first time ever, we have AirPods public betas. This is typically reserved for developers, but if we go to beta.apple.com that you can see here, we now have AirPods firmware included. So I thought I'd go through all of the first things to try, what's supported, how to install it and more. But you'll see it's included here with iOS 26, iPadOS 26 and all of the other updates. So first you'll need to be a beta tester, have iOS 26 installed, whether it's the public beta or developer beta, and then you can install the public beta on your AirPods. Now, the first thing you should know are the supported devices. Unfortunately, AirPods betas are only currently, and all of the features in iOS 26 are currently only on AirPods with H2 chipsets. That means AirPods 4, AirPods 4 with active noise cancellation, and AirPods 2, both with lightning, as well as USB-C. So unfortunately, AirPods Max do not get this update for some reason. So if you have the most expensive AirPods, they're not included with the latest features, unfortunately. Now the features do require iOS 26, like I said, but before you install this, I wanted to caution you that once you install the beta update, there is no way to downgrade, whether that's with a computer or anything else. Currently, you would have to bring them to an Apple store to downgrade them. So if you don't want to risk that, you may want to skip the beta. Otherwise, though, they've seemed to be stable so far, but you can try this out if you'd like to. Now, in order to install the beta, I've already installed them on the AirPods Pro 2, so I wanted to show you that with the AirPods 4. And then we'll go over some features and what you should do. But we'll go into our settings once we've got them connected. So we'll go back to our main page here under General. Once they connect, go into your AirPods and scroll all the way to the bottom. You'll now see AirPods beta updates. Go into AirPods beta updates, and then you can turn these on. Once you enable it, then you'll be able to install the update. So it says enable pre-release beta firmware updates. Firmware updates will be installed when your AirPods are in their charging case and nearby this iPhone. And you can actually see how to install these on Apple's website. So if we go to their website, this is all about firmware updates for AirPods, but I'll link this in the description, but you can see how to update your AirPods. Basically the quickest way I've found to update them is place them in your ears, connect them, maybe listen to 30 seconds of a song, close them, make sure they're charged over 50%, close the lid, set them by your phone, lock your phone, walk away, and when you come back, maybe in five to 15 minutes, they'll be updated. Also, it does help if you plug them in, so maybe you plug them into USB-C, whether that's a Mac nearby or something else, sometimes that helps just to have them update faster. But just come back, check them again, and I'll show you how you can check if they're updated next. Now, as we're waiting for them to update, you'll see we're connected here already. We'll go back into where we selected the beta update. So we've got our AirPods sort of menu here. Scroll to the bottom and you'll see the current version number. This current version number is a public number, it's not the beta, so we're looking for a different number here. We can see that when we open up the AirPods Pro 2. So we're waiting for AirPods 4 to connect. We'll go back here. And then if we go into our AirPods Pro 2 with USB-C, scroll to the bottom, we're looking for this version, 8A308B. So that's AirPods Pro 2, but we're looking for that specific firmware version. You can see it here for both the version and case version as well. So let me go ahead and see if I can get these to update, and then we'll come back and talk about what you should try. Now the AirPods 4 have been updated, so Let's go into the menu and verify they're updated. Again, go into your settings. Once it's connected, scroll to the bottom and you'll see the version now says 8A308B. This is the latest beta firmware and the case is the exact same version. Once you're updated to this latest beta version, whether that's for the public beta or developer beta, which is the same thing, you'll have some new options here in your main settings. So when you're in the main setting page, scroll down and you'll see a new option for camera remote. This is something you can try out and it allows you to use the stem of the AirPods, whether that's AirPods 4 or AirPods Pro 2, and capture a photo, start or stop recording and more using either press once or press and hold. So if we go into this, maybe select press once, Let's go ahead and place one of these in my ears. That's easier to use it that way. And then we'll place the iPhone 12 Pro Max in the background and go into the camera. And now if I click the stem on the AirPod itself, I can then take a photo. So sometimes it takes a second to take the photo. It will count down depending on how you have it set up. And there you go. So now you can take that photo. It may also start music like it is in my ear. And then if we go into video, we can then again click it and it will take a video. So you can use that to remotely start and stop the phone using the camera or video. 
So back in the menu, if we scroll down, keep scrolling down a little bit further this time, and you'll see pause media when falling asleep. It can detect when you fall asleep and then pause the overall sound coming through the AirPods. So if you're listening to music, a podcast, an audiobook, it can then pause that while you fall asleep if you wear them to bed. So that's a nice little update there. There's also a battery update where it will notify you with charging notifications. So you'll see, I went into the battery menu and it says receive notifications, reminding you to charge your AirPods when the battery is low. And when your AirPods have fully charged, you'll get a notification for either. If the AirPods are low, it will pop up in the top of the screen and let you know if they're full, it will also let you know here as well. So it's a nice little update. That's part of iOS 26. Another thing you should try is see if you can notice the new audio quality improvements. Apple has said with the H2 chipset, beam forming microphones and computational audio that users will also enjoy more natural vocal texture and clarity across iPhone calls, FaceTime and call kit enabled apps. They also say that with the AirPods Pro 2 and AirPods 4, that you can record high quality audio when making videos or using your device to do things like record a podcast. So studio quality audio for interviews, podcasts, songs, and videos is something they say these are capable of now. So let's go ahead and make sure that we're set up. You want to go down to your sound and haptics. We're connected. And then under sound and haptics, go to input and you'll see Aaron's AirPods Pro 2 USB-C. So we've got those selected. Let me put both of them in my ear. So we'll try that and we'll see what they actually sound like. So I'll go into transparency mode, make sure that we're selected here for AirPods input, and then we'll go to the camera. And so these are the AirPods Pro 2 with supposedly the new update to the studio quality microphones. Let me know what you think as far as the overall sound compared to this microphone here, which is my studio mic. Let me know in the comments below and be sure to try it out for yourself. So let's see what those are like. Let me know what you think as far as the overall quality and see if it's improved. Another thing to try that you may want to customize has to do with where the audio stays when you're using your iPhone and maybe you're going into a car connecting to CarPlay or something else. If we go into general, then we go down to AirPlay and continuity. You'll see there's a new option for keep audio with headphones. It says when using AirPods or other wireless headphones, keep audio with headphones when other devices like speakers or cars connect to iPhone. If you have this enabled, maybe you get into your car, you're listening to a podcast or some music with your AirPods or Bluetooth headphones, and you want them to actually stay with your AirPods and not jump over to CarPlay, enable this and they'll stay on your AirPods. If you disable this, it will then jump right over to CarPlay. So if you have your headphones connected or something else, it won't jump around to CarPlay when you connect. Now the overall audio quality does seem to be improved for me. And if we go into my AirPods here, if you have them on transparency, they seem to work well. I don't typically use adaptive, but noise cancellation is great. I used it on the betas on different trips recently and they canceled out all the noise I wanted them to airplane engines. And it was really great. So I really have no issues with that overall. Just make sure that you're on noise cancellation. If you want them to actually cancel noise, if you're on adaptive, sometimes it's less noise or more noise being allowed in and less noise cancellation overall. So make sure that you adjust that based on how you use it. Now we could have a few more betas until the final release, but don't expect them weekly. Like we typically get with the overall iOS betas. Usually we'll get one or two until the public release. So we can expect maybe one or two more of these and then a public release sometime in September. Typically when we want to switch back to the public release, we'll just turn off the beta updates, both on our phone and our AirPods, and then they'll update on their own, just like we updated them in the beginning of this video. So you can continue to use these. However, I would expect a public release probably in mid September around the launch of the next iPhone. So we could see some updated AirPods, maybe some additional features by then. We don't really know, but at this point, those are the features you can try out. Let me know what your favorite iOS 26 feature is and your favorite AirPods feature in the comments below. And of course, I'll link this wallpaper in the description like I normally do. If you haven't subscribed already though, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.